what I'm what I did differently than on the recipe that I got was that she only let hers rise for for one time and so did the vegan corner and they were talking about how they wanted it to happen uh, to just be a faster process well I let this rise a little bit while I was importing stuff and I drank more smoothie well, a little bit and um but now after letting it rise just for a little bit i'm going to um roll it out a little bit and knead it a little bit more and then i'm gonna let it rise again i already kneaded this dough just a little bit but i really didn't knead it all too much i just let it sit there and do its thing Okay, so I'm kind of just making it go flat right now. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'll just make it like I don't know. And you guys are not seeing this, at least to the full time. I should have, here, I'll fix it for you. There you go. I folded in the sides and they rolled theirs up so I might as well do the same thing for the vegan corner I'm like combining a vegan recipe with a non-vegan recipe to make a different vegan recipe that's Abby's logic so now I'm going to ignore the background music and also cut this in half it's a heart! Oh, oops, I forgot to grease everything. So, you'll want to grease your pens before you use them. And I'm also going to throw just a little bit of flour on those. I really don't want the bread to stick, so. That's the heart shaped one, isn't it beautiful? The other one just looks, you know, regular. So, I'm going to let these rise for quite a while, so, and that's also another reason why I'm not putting the toppings on before I let them rise, so I'll come back when they're risen. Alright, so this is what they look like, and that's the heart one. It doesn't look like a heart anymore, but whatever. So, I covered the dough with the... I mixed some olive oil with the rest of the spices that were left over from earlier. And I just rubbed that all over the top. And today I'm going to be using Daya Medium Cheddar Style cheese and this is my absolute favorite it is just like regular cheese and it's sharp it's amazing it's great on crackers good alone my grandma who's like trying to be vegan eats it alone but I'm gonna grate some of that on there so I added the jalapenos and the cheese I put the jalapenos in first and kind of stuck them down into the holes and I probably put too much cheese, but you can never have too much vegan cheese. So, you know, I put a lot of cheese. And I kind of realized why um, the recipe before uh, only rose the dough once in these trays and after she had already put all the toppings on. And... I'm going to let these rise for a third time. So, um, you don't have to do this. You can just rise it once, like roll out the dough, knead it a little bit, put it in here, and let it rise once. And it, I'm, I'm not sure how mine is going to turn out. I'm still going to put this recipe up because I know the bread will probably be good. And I'm really scared, even though I put olive oil and flour on here, I'm always just so scared with glass that it's gonna stick on there. So if, if you want, you could definitely put parchment under there. I 
we'll probably be doing that next time or maybe even doing it without the um, the trays I'll probably just do it on a uh, on a baking sheet and make the dough really tall but I wanted it like this because there's a lot of surface area and blah 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 but yeah hopefully it looks okay once it rises again we'll see we'll see so this is what they came out to look like I literally ate half of one of them already but yeah this is what it turned out to be it was really good I even though it's really really crispy cheese it's still really delicious pillowy dough yeah I totally just ate that but yeah the inside was definitely like the stuff I got from Sprouts but the outside like I said the cheese is a little too crispy so I really really wanted to get these out from the pans um, at all costs because when bread when bread cools inside of something it just doesn't turn out correctly and it gets like really really like moist on the inside so I kind of forced them out and there was like a lot of stuff left but make sure you just use a lot of olive oil and a lot of flour when you line it because when it rises it'll definitely pick up all of the flour and all of the oil that you just put in there so if you think that you're putting too much you're really not putting too much you're putting the right amount in there's Morgan! <laughs> um, but yeah, and if you don't do this and uh, get your bread out, it will end up um, getting really, really moist on the inside. And it'll lose all of its nice fluffiness. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. <laughs> well, bye guys.